Hello guys and welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Zoe. I'm Dee. And uh, you're looking at the Ultimate Unboxing channel. Today, we want to talk about, you know that we reviewed the Ryobi mower and the Ryobi trimmer. Uh, some customer service nightmares you hear all around with Asus that they don't accept to do any repairs or uh, replacements. And uh, here we come to the video to talk to you about our experience with Ryobi EU customer service. Do you want to start, Zoe? I will start and I will tell you what the problem was. Uh, we had a fail with the battery. The battery just decided not to work. So obviously we contact Ryobi about it as the mower is new. And uh, we got an answer from them. Yes. As I was doing the last video, what happened was uh, I finished mowing, the mower stopped and uh, it showed uh, on the battery low charge. Obviously what you do is you put it on the charger and you expect the battery to charge. The charger went to high temperature and it said on the website to wait for maybe 15 minutes until the battery recovers from the heat. I waited uh, an hour because we had some more stuff to do. So we said, okay, leave it for an hour and it might come and charge. I put the battery on and I noticed on the battery, obviously right now the battery is dead completely. I, I noticed on the battery that the first light, not that one that shows you that you are out of battery, the first light was blinking and the charger was uh, saying, not fault battery, but that the battery is fully charged. I checked the battery with a multimeter and uh, the battery didn't give any power out. What I mean power, I mean you expect for the battery on the negative and positive to have some uh, voltage. The battery was giving 0 .5, 0 0.5 volts, nothing, 0.5 volts, nothing. I let the battery for a day, I say it might be overheated we, because we just mowed maybe 10 square meters, it might overheat and let it for tomorrow. It didn't do anything. As a normal uh, customer that I was expecting a warranty, I thought mm, it might do Ryobi as the other companies do. Just, I don't care. It's your fault. Because there's plenty of companies I don't want to put names on big companies that if you say, ah, my battery doesn't run anymore, they say to you, ah, either your battery is not under warranty or even worse, you didn't use it correctly. So I say, I go to the website. I didn't have, do it guys, if you want. I didn't have the extended warranty three years I did the register to Ryobi because I thought it's going to be okay, it's a brand new mower. So I put the quote inside the website and I sent the details, all the details. I didn't have an invoice, so I sent a print of the... The transaction that yeah. we did. Yes, to buy the mower because we, we buy it through a service that we can pay it in three instances so I didn't have any an, an invoice I had a agreement basically three days after I received a message and say uh, can you prove your address and your phone number I thought I already did that I'm waiting another two days I'm receiving on a Saturday Saturday yeah. well done Ryobi <laughs> 
uh, and message that says, can you give us a, a brief, a very good brief of what is the fault with the device? Because they thought that the mower was off too. So I sent a picture of the battery and I sent uh, on the email the details, what happened basically. I was cutting the grass, it, it blinks at weird light, not the correct one. The second day it decided to light, not the first light here, the second one. So it didn't make sense to me. So I put a picture, I put everything and I, I was waiting. I said to Zoe, it might, they might say, okay, buy a new battery. It's yeah. only, it's only 65 pounds. Okay, just buy a new battery, it's all right. I said, oh, we, we can try, we can try. We have nothing to lose, so we thought like, yeah, okay, we'll just contact them, see what happens. So. I received a message again afternoon at six o'clock in the afternoon from Ryobi says, we really sorry, we apologize for your inconvenience. Can you please confirm that the battery is not functional? And I answer, yes, no problem. They say to me on the email after three minutes, please send me a picture of the serial number and the date of purchase. I take a picture of the battery. That's all right, I say, who works at six o'clock at night? Doesn't matter, we did it. I just send it to, I say, okay, that's all right. Next, two o'clock at the afternoon, I received a message that says, we really apologize for your inconvenience. Your parcel is gonna be on your way in five days, that means, we have, we're expecting a parcel. <laughs> they, they actually replaced the, the battery. And the result is this. They actually sent us a brand new battery and uh, they sent it less than five days. The email actually said, we will receive it in five days. It came in... The next day. Yeah, the next day. After the email, the next day we had the battery. <laughs> so we have a brand new battery. From Ryobi. Thank you very much, Ryobi, for that. It's one of the few companies that actually do that. They, yeah, they, they have because warranty no, for the normally, batteries. Yeah, normally most companies say like, oh, it's wear and tear, or you yeah. didn't use it right, so. But you see here, that's a big plus. Well done, Ryobi. You see here, three years warranty for the batteries. So it's actually like the warranty is legit. Let's it's actually... Don't do the mistake. Don't see all these videos, guys. Don't do all things that might ruin your warranty. Don't mess about with all the screws on the side and all this stuff. Don't even have... Don't. Just Contact. go to the website, to the original website. Don't call anyone. Go to the website, put your problem on the device, put your details and what is the problem. And Ryobi, I believe, is going to help you out. It's not sponsored by Ryobi, this video. We want to say that because as a customer, I didn't say I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm, uh, you know, treat me well. I just put my details and we have the new battery. And we have the old battery, obviously, that one. We have to find a solution to put it recycled. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take it down. You have to put it on a proper recycle center in UK. We have the brand new one. It's a premium model. It's the new version of it. Different lights on the top. And uh, because we want to satisfy you, I don't know if Zoe wants to try not to cut <laughs> herself by opening this <laughs> box. <laughs> So, we will have a quick unboxing. If Zoe can actually open the package in, that I highly think I will not. Yeah. Thank you, Dee, for the support. Yes, I'm, I'm helping. There is no way I can actually open this. Without with, uh, cutting your hands. With, no, it's not cut in my hands, it's just like, I'm literally breaking around and around and around, but I can't get in the packet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, coming back in a second. <laughs> so, I found the little scissors. Let's see if that's 
Oh my god. I just chose the wrong one, did I? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> Zoe says I'm I'm talking a lot. Yeah, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm getting there, guys. I think. Why do they not just make the packets a little bit easier? Uh. I know, I know, guys. You're all thinking like, oh, come on, you can't open a box. Yeah, I can't open a box. This is going to help me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. It's simple. You, you already know I'm not going to manage, but say that, <laughs> say that we will. <laughs> it, it is really, really. And the only thing they did, the only thing they did, what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to open this box. See, it is hard, and they was like going like that with the scissors. No, I didn't try to do anything bad to you. <laughs> okay, that's. It's, it's maybe the longest unboxing we've ever done. Like this packet is really, really, <laughs> really hard to open. <laughs> maybe companies have to start doing it something like an easy opening or something they don't want you to be easy open because they put those batteries on the on the shelves and the people like to take them yeah there's all the security systems they can use and make the packets easier to work there's security seals there's little lots of things yeah we we fight with a uh, paperwork let's, let's let's fight I'll pull. Yay! Okay. We're getting somewhere now. So it's getting out. We don't need that. <laughs> don't don't uh, punch me. <laughs> <laughs> and Ta -da. Ta -da! And this is the thing I'm talking about, guys. You see this sticker down here? I don't know if you can no, see you, it. They can't see it. This is the sticker for anti thief. For people, they do stupid things. Yeah, but you do not need to put so hard plastic packets in. Yes. Because they have it. So anyway. here you have your uh, compatible devices. You can use this battery. It has some extra pins on the back, that one doesn't. You can see on that one it has uh, two extra pins because you can use it in all any device that supports one plus. It feels happy, I feel. Yeah, they put better quality batteries. I believe that it has a... Uh, it looks nicer too. Uh, the long lasting ones. Thank you, Ryobi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, get out. <laughs> Thank you, Ryobi, for the <laughs> technical support. We really appreciate uh, what you did for uh, our issue with the battery. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next one. And have a great night. I'm Dee. I'm Zoe. See you on the next one. See ya.